We're back on The Chef You and I in our section over here about Born Before 64 because this wonderful company, Planters Peanuts, has come to us and they're 100 years old. And you're Alex? I'm Alex. Belisario. Mm -hmm. Right. Now, is your dad uh, the guy that does all those wonderful TV shows? No, I wish though. You wish? <laughs> okay. Uh, no. Now, tell me something. You just have been with the company for how long? Two months. Now, you graduated from where? University of Florida. University of Florida. And how do you like Illinois? Um, I like it a lot. I'm a little bit scared of the cold because of Florida doesn't get that cold, but we'll see how I do. <laughs> All right, you're going to be fine. And do you like snow? I like it, but about one week at a time. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait till you have the fall. The fall is the most beautiful time of year. You're really going to enjoy it. You're really close to Chicago, and I come there all the time. So I'm going to come and visit you, okay? <laughs> Perfect. Okay. So what we're going to make is a really beautiful salad today, and I love romaine lettuce because it's really healthy for you. And so um, we're going to make a kind of a fruity salad with uh, apples and blueberries and grapes and of course your nuts. Do you know which nuts you're going to use in this? Um, I was thinking we could use the sweet spring mix right. um, because it has cranberries and raisins and um, nuts. yogurt pieces and nuts, nuts and, and almonds. So I think that's it would a good be idea. A great mix. Right. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the first thing I want you to do is I want you to take and I want you to tear up the lettuce and I'm going to show you how into bite-sized pieces, okay? Perfect. Is that okay. perfect or what? You do that. And in I the meantime, <laughs> in the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start cutting up everything else. And we've already pre-washed all of our ingredients, and that's really important to do that. And you know, you could also add to this wonderful salad meat or shrimp or something like that, cooked shrimp, whatever you want to make it a meal. And um, actually, uh, you're going to do that. And then what I'm going to do is also we're going to, I'm going to get you to grind the nuts. Or you don't need to grind the nuts up on this one because you're going to use it whole. Mm -hmm. So, and this for your college friends or <laughs> to, for a special guy, whatever. Oh, whatever. He'll be, very, <laughs> he'll be very impressed with you when you do this. So, yeah, and cool. it sounds so fresh. It is, I'm excited it is really to try fresh, this. <laughs> very fresh. I love salads with fruit in it. I think it's really Absolutely. good. Absolutely. Healthy for you. And you know, Alex, we're a healthy cooking show. Perfect. And we teach beginners how to cook mm -hmm. and even experience that want to make their, um, their, their meals or entrees or whatever healthier for you. So, for instance, do you like macaroni and cheese? I love macaroni okay, and cheese. Okay, so if you make Emeril Lagasse's mac and cheese, it's 750 calories per <laughs> serving. I make it with 250. Really? Yeah, right, right. Wow. So, it's, and, and if you're trying to watch your weight or, you know, whatever, which is really important, because uh, we have a lot of obesity in our country right now, unfortunately. So we're trying to get healthier. So this and is what we're doing. And nuts are really good for you. Do yeah. you know I even drink almond milk? Do you? I, I, sure I do, do too. I really like it. Do you like it? Yeah, I like it better than, than dairy milk now. Right. Now, so where in Florida are you from? What part? Well, my parents live in Broward County uh -huh. um, near Fort Lauderdale. Uh -huh. And I went to University of Florida, which is in Gainesville. You have a little bit of an accent. Where's that from? <laughs> um, I lived in Venezuela oh. for 16 years of my life. Oh, I can hear that mm -hmm. beautiful accent. <laughs> right. Uh, Como estas? <laughs> is that the way you say it in Venezuela? Is it yeah, Spanish? Yeah, it's Spanish. Mm -hmm. Right. And I used to actually live in Spain. I used to live in Madrid. Really? Yeah. My in, in a family little, in a town. in Barcelona. Yeah. In, well, I lived in Alcobendas, which is right outside of Madrid. And I lived in a place called the Moraleja, which means the moral lesson, right? Yeah. Right. Cool. Okay. So now the next thing I want you to do, and this is a trusty, dusty, do you see what this is? It's a mm -hmm. scooper, so I need you to put this in there. Go for it. Perfect. Can you do that? All right, and so scoop all those up, and then I'm going to get some apples. Now, I like to use, and these are all clean apples, I like to use the apple just the way it is, in little, in little chunks, okay? Because I want you to get the nutrients from the apple. Some people like to peel them. I don't. I just like to slice them up, right? And then just do it in cubes. 
and make it really nice so you can see it. It looks great Doesn't so that look far. Great? great. Those grapes are going to be very juicy. Oh, those <laughs> grapes are going to be great. Mm -hmm. And you know, I use a, you can use any kind of dressing you want, but I really like lemon. I like uh, to make my own dressings, but we're going to let everybody dress their own salad because everybody's different. Yeah. <laughs> so, and some people don't even like dressing, so forget that, right? But the trick with apples is if you want to keep them so that they don't get brown, you put a little mm -hmm. bit of lemon juice on it, and we'll get some out of the refrigerator before we put the dressing on. And you'll see what I'm talking about. It'll keep your salad really fresh. Yeah, perfect. Because if you want to prepare it before you, yes. all your guests arrive, you yeah. don't want it to be brown. You don't want it to be brown. <laughs> Same way with bananas or any other fruit that turns really fast, right? So lemon. You always put lemon in it. I works. always put oh. lemon on it. Makes perfect. it really easy. And we'll go from there. Um, just a minute. So what is your favorite thing to do? Do you like to cook? I like to cook a lot, actually, and I do like to um, make my own recipes, play with my food, and I right. do like um, healthy recipes, so okay. I actually um, started collecting recipes from everywhere and created my little own recipe book. So I'm going <laughs> to give, give you those to tear up some more since All we right. have a big crowd of people. Okay. So the other thing is, guess what I'm making this weekend in Chicago? What are you making? Paella. Ooh, Ooh nice. yeah. Do you like paella? Back to your Spanish roots. <laughs> oh, yeah, right out there. Right. Well, actually, the, the, actually, the new sponsor I'm hoping to get is a Spanish company that makes um, cookware. And uh, I'm very excited about meeting them. And then we're going to a restaurant that is a Spanish restaurant, mm -hmm. and it's called Tapas. I love Tapas. Don't you? I love I Tapas, love too. Tapas. They're it's so much such fun. such a cool concept. Yeah, isn't that a cool concept? So I'm going there, and the grandfather's originally from Spain, and so... We're going to be going and having wonderful... So you're going to have the actual experience. Oh, now. yeah. <laughs> well, after living in Spain, it was so much fun. And then don't forget to put the berries in. And then while you're doing that, I'm going to go get some lemon. Okay? <laughs> Perfect. Well, I have to go to the other refrigerator. I can't go there right now, but we'll go back right before we uh, actually serve it and I'll put some juice on it. Okay? Okay. Um, so, what's your favorite thing to do, um, activity-wise, besides this <laughs> new job you have? Yeah, with the whole traveling, it um, keeps me very busy, but um, back home I enjoy um, outdoors activities a lot, um, right. so everything that is physical activities outdoors, maybe like kayaking or hiking or right. all of that type of fun things. <laughs> and you used to live in what part of Florida? Um, well, I lived for three years in South Florida, um, uh -huh. so near the beach, and then two years in North Central Florida. Right. So, mm -hmm. how did you find your job? Can you tell me? Um, yes, absolutely. Well, the, um, the Wiener Mobile actually is also under craft, so they did an info session in my school. Um, but I was a junior, and you have to be a recent college grad, so I didn't apply at the time. Uh -huh. And then the following year, I... I remember I wanted to apply for that job because it sounded like a lot of fun. Uh -huh. um, so I applied online and they called me and they told me about the planters program. Uh -huh. And um, it just seemed great. So I got the interview and right. it worked out. <laughs> How many college kids do you think they have working for them this year? Um, well, this year we're 21. 21, uh, wow. 12 with the Winner Mobile and 9 with Planters. Uh -huh. um, but over 2,000 college kids applied for this. Oh, program. wow. You were very special then. <laughs> okay, and then just stir that up a little. Get all those apples and everybody in there really good. And then you're going to add your peanuts. The special peanuts. peanuts. Mix. Right. <laughs> that looks good. Keep going. Uh -huh. All right, you're fine. And it's actually great if you want to um, the salad to be healthy. Peanuts are a great source of protein. Right, they are. And I, I have apples and peanuts all the time. So let's put the peanuts over, over here and let's bring the salad over here because I'm going to put it in this beautiful bowl. And we're going to put it on the bowl. Here we go. What we're going to do is we're going to transfer this into here. All right. You want it to be as pretty as it can be, right? Oh, it, it looks pretty, but it looks more delicious. <laughs> I know. 
I like colorful things, and I mm -hmm. like to make I like to make um, salads that are really pretty. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to put your your beautiful peanuts, and what is a mix, a spring it's a mix. mix. Yeah. It has okay, a now bit just of spread it all the way around. All right, that looks really good. Oh, Ooh, that was I got one. Fine. Yay! <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. That's, That's fine. Okay. Now let's look at that. Let the cameraman look at that. That's really pretty. Now it was great. easy, wasn't it? It was very easy. I'm and, the, proud. And, the fun, and the fun and the fun thing about this is that it took very little time to make it. This recipe will be up on the Planters Peanut mm -hmm. I Hope site so that you can share it with all your friends. Sounds right? great. So you can serve it too. <laughs> we need to take a short break. What's your website? Uh, you can go to www.planters.com. All right, and thank you. And we'll be right back to make our main dish, which is going to be a chicken stir fry. We'll be right back after these messages.